through at noon. People living in an apartment building in the Bronx without gas service for nearly 10 years rallied today demanding action. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis live from the Melrose section with the story. Marcus. David and Janice, 2015 is when gas service was turned off to this building. Many residents since then have been using portable uh, gas, uh, portable gas stoves powered by these butane containers to cook a meal. They are beyond frustrated and say if they don't get gas service soon, they are planning a rent strike starting May 1st. No gas, no rent is what this chant boils down to. And for residents, it's the easiest thing they can boil because for nearly a decade, their building has been without natural gas, making cooking an inconvenient, expensive challenge on portable burners using butane or propane canisters. It makes me feel very frustrated that we can't, we don't have gas at all and that we have to cook everything on two little stoves because I believe it's not enough for us to like make a full meal or anything that's actually consumable. A look in this apartment shows a gas line in the bathroom. In the kitchen, the stove has been removed. The gas pipe leads nowhere. For them to not care about us or just not do anything about the gas situation, it's just, it's unfair. I feel like it's cruel to us as a tenant. According to residents, the previous landlord lived in the building but foreclosed on the property. Estamos molestos, desesperados, frustrados. We're angry, desperate, frustrated, says Hilda Becerra. We want someone to finally listen to us. All right, and as with uh, just about anything in the city, there's a lot of back and forth here. You can see Con Edison has begun some work. The utility says that the gas work should be completed this week. Now, the property receiver appointed the, by the housing court, the lawyer in charge of getting some uh, repairs made to the building, says that the boiler has been repaired uh, and that service, those connections, should be taking place once the final inspections are made. Then there's the process of buying 35 stoves for all of the apartments inside the building. The city's Department of Housing Preservation says it is reaching out to both sides to make sure everything is done. So there could be some light at the end of the tunnel, a very long road for these residents.